are blaze too large, too fierce, and moving too fast to contain. The oak fire started on Friday near the Yosemite National Park. As we arrived in California the last week of July, all we heard about were the fires and smoke affecting Yosemite Valley and the many concerns about if we would be able to complete our hike. And then the week of our hike, the monsoonal rains came and flash flooding closed the roads to the trailhead where we were to begin. About 36 hours before our trip, road crews opened the road, but flash flood warnings remained in effect and advisories urging caution were still in effect as we drove to the trailhead. So in the days leading up to the hike, my attitude and the mantra in my head was, we are hiking the John Muir Trail come hell or high water. coming out as we approach Cottonwood Pass. Oh man, Cottonwood Pass. Last look back down at Horseshoe Meadow where we left from this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Cottonwood Pass. Hey! Woo. I kicked my butt. <laughs> Trail Junction at Cottonwood Pass, and we are on the PCT. This might be the high point of the day. Wow. Yeah.
afternoon, day one. About three and a half miles to go down to our tentative campsite for the night. Feeling pretty good, except for packs starting to feel a little heavy on my shoulders. Got six days worth of food in it, so I need to eat some of that. And we are approaching campsite. See if we can find one. Look at this. Some blue sky. Sun trying to come out. Should be a nice evening. The creek is flowing in the background. And we're setting up out through here. And here's my home sweet home for the night. Starting out day two. And here's the first obstacle. About a 45 minute climb under our belt. And it looks like we'll be breaking out above tree line here soon for some beautiful views. Guy out pass, morning two. Climbing Guy out pass is no joke, but I guess it's getting us ready for bigger passes higher passes in the days to come. Oh, I think this is the pass, finally. Still morning of day two, there's where we came from. There's where we're going. It's just beautiful. Every step is beautiful. Headed from Crabtree up to Qatar Lake, uh, up towards Mount Whitney. Gonna try to make it up here so we can summit early in the morning. This is Timberline Lake on the way up to Mount Whitney. All I can say is, wow, orange is sitting up there, old school, Guitar Lake. I might call that home for the night. Juggernauts thinking about camping right there. Wow, wow, wow. So I just did the polar plunge. Sure did feel good to get out. Yes. Okay, I'm under the arm. Well, I'm 
still breathing, I think. <laughs> Woo! It doesn't take long to look at it. Yeah. Well, once again, it has to be in one of the top 10 campsites I've ever had. It's about 2.15 in the morning. The troop is headed up the hill. It's a Summit Mount Whitney day. Day three, climbing Mount Whitney to the southern terminus of the JMT to start our hike northbound. Two hours in, made it up to the trail junction, having a little breakfast, nine miles to go. And the journey continues, a little over a mile to go. Wow, you actually see civilization down in there. Sun hitting the summit. See if we can get up there. Seems a long way away still. Six or seven minutes till sunrise, and I am not there yet. We'll give her a college try. Wow, is it beautiful. And I'm this much short of the top when the sun comes up. Ernie. Yep. It's cold. It's a little warmer now, uh -oh. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright. 
for taking time on the mountain. right here. This is the southern terminus. So it took us two and a half days to get here. Now we're going to head northbound. Well, the first steps on the John Muir Trail northbound. sketchy stuff we did in the dark this morning. Well, we're on our way down, but the trail goes up here for a little bit. down the switchbacks that we came up this morning. You can see people down there. Did this in the dark. So here's how we spent a lot of the morning in the dark. Yep, so just about eight hours. If we left this morning at 2.15, getting back to camp. Boy, what a beautiful camp it was. Goodbye, beautiful campsite. We're all getting packed up. All right, back down to Crabtree Meadows. I think this will be home sweet home for the night. Well, day three is wrapping up. Here's where I plan to stay tonight. So it's the first day northbound on the JMT. Crabtree Meadows, beautiful campsite. It was a great campsite. All packed up, ready to start walking on day four. See where we get to. Underway day four. What a gorgeous morning to hike. It's cool, it's beautiful. Loving life right now.
climb out of Wallace Creek, rewarded with this view. Here's we're coming up on what's been called the, uh, I think the Bighorn Plateau, or some plateau. It's well. It's a rain jacket and sunglasses kind of morning here. Beauty, beauty, beauty all around. Rain and sun. Just another stop to enjoy the views. Gorgeous. Left the tree line behind. See how close we can get to Forster Pass for an early start tomorrow morning. Early crossing Forester. A little cloudy. Forester Pass is up there somewhere. I'm not sure quite where. The JMT trail that just keeps on giving. Beautiful. For the second time today, I'm getting hailed on. And I think Forrester Pass. Is that notch right out there in the distance? Now this hail hurts. This is where we're going to camp for the night up here somewhere. Getting ready to climb that in the morning. We don't have farther, much farther to go up to Forester Pass. Everybody picking campsites for the night. Here's Ernie's. I claimed this spot down there and it's starting to sleet and rain again. Anyway, let me get this tent set up before it rains too hard. I'm sweet home for the night right down here. The cleanest water that I've had at a campsite so far. Beautiful morning, day five. Tents packed up. Having some breakfast. Getting ready to climb right up there. 600 feet up, one mile. 15 minutes in and the rain gear's on. It's sort of rainy, by the time I get it on, it acts like it wants to clear up. 25 minutes in, hope I'm halfway up. Mike going up the last couple switchbacks. There's the top, almost there. The rest of my crew is celebrating at the top. I guess they're waiting on me. Or maybe they started the party without me.
Brewster Pass, the highest pass on the JMT after climbing Mount Whitney. So we have a lot of hard passes to go, but we got the highest one out of the way. And man, is it gorgeous. Well, headed down. Awesome, breathtaking. I'm just running out of adjectives. walk down from so Forester Pass this morning has been indescribable. Neither words nor pictures can capture the beauty. Which trail we have to go? Down. are in the clouds and the hike continues. Headed down King's Canyon, it's gorgeous. the creek crossing, back on the trail. King's Canyon, a whole new adventure. More of the beautiful King's Canyon. Headed downhill. All the craggy peaks up above us. Walking down this valley, this canyon, just gorgeous. Here in the river beside us. Looking back towards where we came from, looking for a spot for lunch. And here's our beautiful lunch spot. Except we're taking pictures before we eat. We came about six miles down. All that whole canyon, Bubs Creek. Now we're starting our climb back up again. Afternoon of day five. Now on the side trail headed out to Onion Valley. Get out there tomorrow for a resupply. Wow, well, this side trail just keeps giving. It's gorgeous.
25. Approaching 3 o'clock in the afternoon and hopefully approaching the campsite for tonight. Curse Lakes, where are you? Well, dark clouds are a little ominous, but looks like this will be home for the night. It's gorgeous. Well, the rain held off long enough to get the tent set up. Another absolutely gorgeous camp spot. Wow. Out exploring the neighborhood. There's looking back across the lake to where our camp is. This creek leads down into another lake. So peaceful. Little raindrops on the lake. Rain started about 45 minutes ago. I'm hoping it could ease off so I could have some dinner here tonight. I'd have to cook in my tent. This is the first significant rain that we've had since. Uh, the morning we started out in the rain and the first time I've been stuck in my tent with rain so anyway see if it eases off otherwise I'll be cooking supper right here I guess so the rain cleared and I stepped outside the tent had some dinner and turned around and saw this Starting out day six, camped down there by that lake last night. It's a short day, five miles to a trailhead where my sweetie will pick us up, go into town for a resupply, and then we'll be back out on the JMT tomorrow. So looking forward to a short day. Just have a climb up over Cursage Pass to get there. Still climbing from where we slept last night. Headed to that pass up there, I think. And over to the resupply point. Oh, can't wait. This is quite a climb. Not as bad as it will be tomorrow morning with heavy packs. Slept. Got the switchbacks. 45 minutes later, arriving at the pass. Size pass, celebrating the moment with some picture taken. Almost down to Onion Valley Campground. 
for our pickup, but the trail keeps giving. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, wow. First view of the road. Yes, there's the parking lot. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing my sweetie down there. Wow, what a long way down. I expected to be done 20 or 30 minutes ago. Watch the parking lot still below us. I got gnarly there for a little bit. The home stretch. Caught sight of my sweetie filming me down there, coming down the switchbacks. Oh man, that was that was a gnarly trail down through there. Hey sweetie! Oh, you need her? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for resupply and a relaxing rest of the day.